Give me a run for my money There's nobody, no one to outrun me Give me a run for my money yeah. Sipping bubbly, feeling lovely Living lovely, yeah Hey guys, so I'm starting off on an old braid out slash twist out. If you saw my other video, then you know why. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link above. This is her giving hair and curly. I have three 18 inch bundles and one 16 inch closure. So I'm starting off by just wetting the hair so it can kind of be like a, a new palette. So I'm starting off kind of new and um, getting back to the natural curls. And I'm also finger detangling so that can help a little bit with the process before I go in with the comb. As as usual I'm gonna start by sectioning a medium section in the back well actually these sections are like small to medium section because I did make a lot of these because I wanted my hair to be extra curly so this is a small to medium section I'm starting off spraying it with a little bit more water and um, just detangling it with my wide tooth comb after it I'm add a very small amount of the as I am twist defining cream I did use the exact same product when I did my hair the first time so I didn't feel it was a need to just pack product on top of product because it was still some in my hair left over but anyway I smoothed the product throughout the entire section and then I separated into two and I twisted it all the way down making sure of course to twirl it at the end <laughs> Anyway, moving on to the next section, I'm going to detangle it with my wide tooth comb. Some sections I spritz with water and some I didn't. It just depends on if it needed or not. And then I added my twist to find a cream. I didn't show it right here, but I definitely added some more of that. I separated it into two sections, twisted it down, and twirled it at the ends. This is pretty much what I did all over my head, so I'm going to stop talking and let y'all watch. Keep it 100, I'd rather you trust me than to. Keep it all 100, don't got you, I got nothing Give me a run for my money There is nobody, no one to outrun me So give me a run for my money my twists was so beautiful after I did this. Look how juicy and soft they look. This hair is so freaking soft, you guys. And every time I do any style on it, it just comes out so nice. But anyway, I used the cold water rods to um to twist my hair at the bottom, and that's the package that I used. I got it from my local beauty supply. So in the front area, I'm only gonna roll the rod up like less than halfway because in the front is 16 inches so I'm trying to make the front match the rest of the head so for the rest of the hair I'm gonna um roll it up halfway but in the front it's less than halfway so it can be even with the rest of the hair and a tip when using these rollers roll it in the same section a couple times and then spiral roll it that way the hair will be secure in the roll and you won't have to worry about it falling out and then when you spiral it that'll help with the drying process so it won't be all packed into one spot this is a one day style so I did let the wig air dry I did my hair in the morning I let it air dry throughout the day later on you'll see that I'll go in with the blow dryer because it wasn't all the way dry and I did lay down my edges with some Camille Rose edge control so everything could look nice and neat I have a wig comb in the back and a wig comb on the side so I'm securing my wig that way then of course it's time to take down these rollers look how freaking bouncy and pretty this hair is and the hair isn't even all the way dry so imagine if it was all the way dry and I was taking the rollers out like I said this style took me one day to do so I was being a little bit impatient and I wanted it to dry super fast so you can definitely do this overnight and your stuff will probably be even more bouncier and prettier than this already is after taking out the rollers I separate the twist and then each section I separate that two or three times until it's as big as I want it to be My hair was about 90% dry, so I'm going with the blow dryer on the cool setting and finish it up. So when I'm blow drying my hair, I try not to touch it too much because I don't want to create frizz. And then when I'm almost done, I do kind of pick up the hair a little bit so I can blow dry it 
um at the root so it can be bigger and it gives it more volume so if you guys are looking for extensions that mimic our natural curl pattern i would definitely recommend this hair it feels so soft and it's just everything that you want the hair has minimum shedding and tangling and you can pretty much do everything that you do with your own hair with this hair you can blow it out i've done that i've done work one curls on it i've braided it i've twisted it this hair is so versatile and yeah i love it so this is my completed look you guys my hair was so bouncy and pretty and i did do a side part later on i think i liked it better with the side part but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.